Hello guys, a new update is about to officially be out, and the droid players can already have it, but they don't know about new pet skills and haven't seen new enemies. So guys, in this video I will show you new enemies, tell about raccoon skills, and of course I will reveal all information about new update. We will have two new enemies, raccoon mecha and pineapple bomb. So what they do? Pineapple bomb does huge damage to character, but also works wonders for raccoons too. As for me, it will be working like bomb monster. And Raccoon Mecha is the experimental product of Dr. Evil. It has super high IQ and uses the plants in the rainforest to create a sophisticated mecha. Description sounds scary, but maybe it's not that bad as it sounds? Ok, here you can see Raccoon Mecha is about to create a sophisticated mecha, it's Pineapple Bomb. And the last pick is a Calm Raccoon. Now about new double S pet skills. As you know it's called a Mecha Raccoon and its first skill is Raccoon's Fury. At the beginning of the round, Mecha Blow blows enemies up and fires two bullets on a 3-3 area. Unfortunately, cooldown is unknown. It is something like Meteor 1 skill, but more powerful and fires two bullets while Meteor 1 only one meteor. By the way, new artifact he faced this hammer deals damage to the 3-3 area too. Its skill and full description you can find on my Instagram page, the link I'll leave in the description. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel too, it really helps me to make useful videos for you. Now let's get back to Raccoon. Second skill sounds promising. Butterfly Killer releases Butterfly Essence to revive you and it gives plus 50% health as Butterfly Pet. But second part you won't like. It can only be used once and Aged Butterfly won't be able to use its reviving skill. So technically it will be stupid to use Raccoon with Butterfly. And I will tell you moreover, if you watch my videos and saw latest Hardy guide, then you know that using Firewall will give you higher score than if you will have extra turn by using Butterfly. I hope to get split balls, but unfortunately could give two sniper balls. It can really do high damage, but if mobs will be like in case with Hydra, I'd better have split balls. New frames are like old ones, only difference they have number 3 and top frame is a little different. Hydra pad will be added to normal Pan X as Nian. If you don't have Dragon Fan necklace yet or want to a new hammer, then you will have a chance to get it all in a Hephaestus throw. A new feature bliss for stages will help you with farming, but only once a day. To use it 3 times in a day, you need to buy a fun pass. I just upgraded all 120 talents on the left side, but Heavy won't let me to save my coins for eternal equipments. Now maximum level is 200 and we have new talents. Stats provided by pets plus 5%, healing effect plus 5% and pet damage dealt plus 5% too. Two festivals are waiting for you. What is better to buy from festivals? I told in my previous video. The link I'll leave in the description. And the last thing we will have, and I like it, he faces ruins. Guys, as you know, for Apollo ruins, I posted walkthrough videos for you to help you with passing it. This time I will post them too, but without using double S equipments and C Dragon. Many players said that it was much easier for me because I have Zeus Wand. So to show you that you can pass it without using double S equipments and CD again, I will not use them. Ok guys, that was full information about new update, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel. And guys, you can also help me to make more useful content for you, just join membership. It's not much, but really helps me.